All right, the bishop is arriving in 10 days. Okay, we have a, we have a really good map layout here again, I think, also. So my plan right now is we want we want left side to get closed as soon as possible. And we don't mind right side getting a little a little silly. Desert Tempest. All your elemental damage is increased by 60% when there is a sandstorm. That seems like it could be strong. Barracks alert radius increased by 20. If we end up going barracks, that could be really good. I think we go Bountiful Spoils just for Econ, though. I wasn't blown away by Frost Mage. I think if I had made the change earlier, maybe we would have been better off. But let's try Guard Barracks. I have yet to... Ice Towers is big. We've never had guards before. I, I really don't like that they don't return to their position. So what is the... So their armor doesn't regenerate. Okay. Melee strength up on guards or damage on archery towers? I don't, I don't think I'm excited about archery towers. Not that excited, at least. Yes, the ice tower does slow, which is why we like it as much as we do. are going a little beast mode on them. More, we know we love mortar towers. Seems like a great place to put that. Now, the guards do nothing against boats. The, the horses, the horses they will help with, but the boats, no dice. I think for now, this one's gonna be on boat units. Uh, maybe it doesn't even need to be, hold on. A dead end this could be i think this is a good path for us because of the way that it loops around so i, I don't think i want to shut that one off i don't know what i want to shut down Speed on mortar tower seems good. Hmm. Let's just get a fourth guard out, I think.
currently all your other land paths are easy to close. Yeah, so I'm, hmm. Like, I'm, I'm trying to decide, like, this seems like a good, these three seem like they're good ones for me to hang on to. Swordmans to go with our guards. Attack speed on ice towers, I think, is very good. Maybe I close this one off just so I don't have to deal with the horsies. Nah, we've been doing okay against the horses. My, my thinking here is that it will bounce in this direction. And we should make all of these not under slowed status apply to all. And I think these should be uh, closest to the castle. And these should be closest to the castle for now. Forever somewhere, forever. I, I kind of wonder if we're going melee heroes, if it makes sense for us to... to close water. I know that that means that we have to deal with flying, but... Like, I guess this is very dangerous from a flying perspective. I, I just kind of want to get rid of this. But we're almost... We're almost to the... So cheap. Like, we could see so many tiles, and it could help us out so much. I don't know. That's a tough, that's a tough call. I can't believe we're almost falling behind on these boats. Oh, we leaked the freaking boat. Inconceivable. Beside water within your area. All right, we're doing, we're doing this and then... Is the lighthouse itself water? It certainly looks like it is. Let's put that like that. I am going to... I'm going to get rid of this tile, and we're going to look for something better. This is a little spicy, for sure. But we had so many of these stored up, I think... I really, I, I kind of wanted this to get closed, not what's happening currently. Ay, ay, ay. I, I just really wanted a regular bendy piece there. What are you offering me now? Oh, there's the regular bendy piece I wanted. Okay, so now everything comes through this, like, circle of pain. That's the idea here. Was it worth it? Unclear to me.
Okay, oh, we can save this for the boss now. That's good. All right. This is, this is boats only. All right, perfect. Oh, and I think we're already on day nine. Complete disaster that I grabbed that chest. I apologize. It was, it was unconscionable and I will never do it again. Mortar range or critical hit damage on fire towers. Mortar range would be pretty big. Let's go crit on fire though. Okay. Oh, I can't close it because of, because of the positioning of it. Um, that works shockingly well. Oh, it does kill him. Nice. Okay. Allied units deal 30% more final damage to enemies under abnormal status. Sense, sense weakness seems good. Now, we, the only thing that we have done here is we have, so all, all of our, almost all of our uh, ground units are now coming in via, via the top paths. Right, we, we have this one that we should probably close off, but yes. Eliminating the bosses is the only way I've ever killed the bosses, so go figure. And I do not wear that as a badge of honor. I'm just saying. That's the only way I've ever been successful. We got a, we got a pretty good little kill zone going here. Hydromancers. I think those could be interesting. Actually, we could put them, we could put them like right here and they will, they'll target a whole lot of different stuff. Okay, so we got Axemen coming in this way. Got boats coming in this way. So we're gonna have a lot of stuff. Oh, and we got horsey people coming in this way. Okay, that's that's a thing that's happening. We'll do that to give ourselves some additional space on the boat action. And we have the guards for land units. So as long as we don't screw up on the boats, I think there's no way the horses are getting through our guards, I don't think. One thing that I would love for this game, uh, attack speed on that is good, is the ability to see what, what tile you're placing down without having to find a place that it fits on the map. That would be nice. Hmm, let's see. So, we could get more Hydromancers. Sure, that looks good. Get those mortars up and running. Wouldn't mind getting this to hit one more target. I think we have to complete this day to unlock the mode, so. Ooh, this is gonna buff a lot of towers, potentially. Sure, we can place that down and then we can figure out if there's. And 
that I'm a little worried about. I, wa I do want to split off here a bit more, so. Archery range? I kind of like that we're going for we're going for units here. Even though we have the Great Lighthouse for, for towers. The nice thing about the archery range is we can place it, I guess like maybe here and then... This covers all our ingresses. And likewise, if we deploy these guys to over here, same deal. I don't know what night flying stuff starts happening, but that's going to be the next thing. I'd also love to be able to see what needs upgrading still. It can be hard to see sometimes. Have we fully upgraded these? No, we haven't. Oh, that was... Oh, it was the arrow tower. I was looking at the guard towers. That's what I was wondering about. In fact, like that, that ar archery tower we should just get rid of. Seventy percent damage to Ooh, cleave three seems pretty insane for our guards. Okay, we got our first, uh, our first flying stuff. Ideally, what I'd like to do is I'd like to curve around the flying stuff so it all comes down this alley anyways. For now, I think we'll just put this, like, here. And I think this this line should work out, and between the two, we'll be able to get it done. Please... Please prioritize flying units. I really wish that the, the guards would revert back to their, their previous location, given, given the option. Damage from mortars, I think, is good. Okay, so... So yeah, so curving this back around this way, I think, is good. Everything's going to be more in line this way. Okay, I think we're... I think we're doing all right here. Oh, I didn't see these guys down here. These... There's, oh, there's just so many horsemen. Holy cow. Let's build a third guard barracks. The boats are a little spicy, too, at the moment. I can close off a path here if I want to. Um... Don't think so. Got lots of openings down this end of things. Uh, Frost mages, no. I think we'll go archery tower improvement. We haven't had any blessing options this time around. So 250 for that, 240 for that, 240. 200 for another archery tower. Okay, 
We got spearmen coming in here. I think we do need something more to help out with the... This archery tower here is in such an awkward place. trying to build this way. Guards are finally getting in on the action. Okay, we can close off a path if we want to. I think day 20 will be the first time when we can when we are potentially interested in doing that. Fire tower shooting more often seems good. Our melee are hitting really good, really well. Okay, it's definitely time for another mortar. But where? We'd like it to be next to water. This is technically next to water, but it only addresses... Half of things. I'm regretting putting this archery tower here. Because this feels too far out. Maybe not. So the, the advantage with having this up here is that the enemies will have the, the debuff earlier. Mortar towers are kind of absurd. Machu Picchu, houses with an area produce more money. Okay. Sure. We've got we've got Manchu Picchu going. Nobody saw that coming. Got axemen, we got knights. Ideally, if this one becomes the one, that would be great. The, the the always expected Manchu Pichu, right? behind on boats right now in a big freaking way. Uh, is there anything I can do to fix that? Oh wait, these should be not under slowed status. Boats. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna lose a little bit here, unfortunately. The boats got me pretty good here. And I don't think there's much I could do. Wow, we just leaked every single boat. That's kind of insane. Ignite ground seems like it's a good pickup. What can I do to fortify our boat shenanigans? Let's do something like this. Horse, 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 that and that. This is day 19. Next turn, we'll be able to get rid of, hopefully, the, the boss using the tile that we've saved up, and then we'll be able to improve things a bit.
The boats are absolutely ruinous right now. How do you even vote? Grab the observatory. Blessings do seem important. Oh, we almost leaked some through that. Okay, so. Okay, so it looks like on, on day 20, you don't get the second. The second wave, I do think... I'm just going to get rid of the flying machines there. Close this down, and then we'll have one, two, three openings left. Seems a little risky, but he who dares wins or something? Currently have no enrage. Uh, I should be on hard difficulty, I think. Unless I, unless I miss put that. Wow, if we never want to close roads at all, we can do this. Oh, maybe that's fine. I saved up quite a few tiles here, it would seem. We have a thousand gold to spend. And it's gone. Is that something you can see in the pause menu? Doesn't look like it. There's probably somewhere you can check it out. But it was supposed to be hard for unlocking the... Uh, Uh-oh. Oasis, Sandstorm, Dry. That's where it probably would have shown up. Maybe this is normal? range seems quite good. Oh, this is a this is a mighty a mighty water split. Maybe we can use that to uh to close down some stuff up top. Oh, we had some stuff down here too that I missed. Putting these two oases next to each other was probably not the play.
So if we close down land, we don't have to worry about... Yeah, right, we have our first blessing available. Let's check that out. Thrive in adversity. All of your elemental damage is increased. Uh, allied melee units deal 30% more damage. Or I think we go thrive in adversity elemental. We have a lot of things that are applying elemental statuses. So this is should be free damage, I think, give or take. So we're kind of we're kind of pivoting away from melee, and the problem with that is that our guards have been doing a much better job than our our boat killers. So Manchu Pichu increases our gold uh, production from houses, and Great Lighthouse makes all these uh, towers do more. I'm leaking right now? Oh my gosh. Can't... Can't handle the boats. All right. I think that means... Well, we'll do a last-minute ditch effort. Where I will take everything and make it boats. I don't think that's going to change. Nope. We lost. All right. Day 22. All right. So let's see. Uh, it does say desert hard. So that was indeed hard. Which means, hopefully, we have unlocked the roguelite challenge. Build deck to start with. 